Hi there, Loy Macedo. So we knew from LoyMacedo.com. Who is Loy Macedo and Think Personal Branding? All right. Uh, uh, today's session, I will give you a couple of uh, news headlines that are there, followed by uh, news that expats have shared with me, news and videos. Um, I'll also share in this uh, session a confidential message that was shared to me by someone who worked for Sheikh Mohammed and Sheikh Faza. Okay. Um, that is really shocking. Then a couple of funny bits, which you guys send me. And finally, we'll cap it off with the YouTube comments. Um, as usual, the timestamps are put down below. Uh, for those of you, you know, who keep asking me about timestamps. Um, also, I, I find it very strange that people keep asking me to create a Patreon account so that they can donate. Um, you can donate via just PayPal. Just go to PayPal, LloydLoydMosquito.com. You can give your donations. I accept whatever you do give to support the channel and my work because I don't get paid for this. I do it for free and it takes uh, quite a long time. Uh, each video takes 8 to 12 hours, uh, you know, to upload. Uh, apart from that, I just want you to know that the jobs market is opening up. Plenty of people are getting job offers now, slowly. Uh, but I don't know why people are not aware of it. Or, uh, uh, But yes, the clear distinction is please check the newspapers for it. And finally, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, yeah, uh, special thanks to all the people who have donated uh, in terms of small bits of money, whatever, for the work that I do. I appreciate. Okay, so let's move on to the UAE-based news. The first one that I want to share with you is uh, this one by bloodyelbow.com. Um, what it says is, uh, did Abu Dhabi plant PR, public relations reps at UFC 251 press conference to promote UAE tourism? So in this article, what they try to uh, say is that UAE had its own people there asking questions to the athletes uh, where the answer would promote and position UAE in a very positive light. I don't, uh, you know, I, I don't see rocket science there because obviously if uh, UAE or Abu Dhabi, whatever it does, it does for a reason and it's a business proposition. The reason why Fight Island was offered uh, to uh, UFC was in order to promote UAE. It is not just just to give them an island, and you know. So I I don't see the point of this article. Uh, it's 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 like saying um, you know I have tattoos on my face. Uh, is it because I like attention? Of course I did love attention. That's why I did it. So I mean uh, sometimes I feel uh, people don't want to see the obvious. Yes, Abu Dhabi. Uh, obviously would plant its own people after giving so much of benefit to UFC. And Dana White would never admit to this. And uh, they did try to bring up the topic of, um, you know, human rights violation, which you can go to Wikipedia and read. And all the Middle East countries, it's not just UAE, all the Middle East countries, whether it's Saudi, whether it's Qatar, Bahrain, Kuwait, all of them are guilty as charged uh, because no country is perfect. So then again, uh, you know, uh, that's what I what I say. But keep in mind, it doesn't mean that the people in the West are perfect, okay? Every country has drawbacks. Every country has plus points. But do have a read at this article. The uh, links will be put down below. Following that, the second uh, article, this is by Al Jazeera. It says the nuclear gulf experts sound the alarm over UAE nuclear reactor. From environmental disaster to nuclear arms race, experts warn a layer of risk surrounding Bara Ka nuclear power plant. Um, in as much as um, it is to be admired what UAE is doing in terms of, you know, nuclear power plant, you know, trying to think far ahead of time, I just feel anything that has um, a project, there are risks and rewards. In terms of a nuclear power, power plant, power plant, the risks are far greater than the rewards. You know, just think about it. All you need is one accident to take place or uh, someone to just bomb or, you know, explode something. UAE is destroyed. UAE is finished. I do not know why they are moving towards having a nuclear power plant. The risks are far too great. In fact, some of the people who have worked over there gave, uh, leaked a report that the uh, materials that were used were used by, you know, a Chinese manufacturer, which are not up to the mark. I don't, I don't know, Chinese or I think Korean or something. Um, I don't know why is UAE trying to take such unwanted risks. Instead of this, just focus on your economy. Focus on what works. Why do you want to go so far ahead? Okay. Next one is um, a bit of uh, news, which I find very confusing. Now, have a look at this. Here it says, 
The date is 11th July. So 11th July 2020, it says Dubai hotels see occupancy hit 80% okay, higher uh, as tourism ramps up. So uh, Sheikh Ahmed bin Said Al Maktoum, CEO and chairman of Emirates Group, said the hotels are doing very well. Now, this news came on 11th July 2020. Same uh, media outlet on three days later, 14th July 2020, it says occupancy drops to 26% for Dubai hotels. Now, what is it? Is it 80% up or is it 26% down? The problem is you have such conflicting reports. Oh, it has gone up, it has gone down. Now, you can say that in the month of June, it was down. Now, in the month of July, it is up. If that was the case, why didn't the first report come that it's 26% down and now it has come up? Why is it? It's gone up 80% and it's come down by, you know, it has come down 26%. How is it possible that within a period of three days, there's such marked difference? This is the main reason why nobody believes anything that comes out from the Middle East because this news is like crazy. Then you have... Um, you know, I'll be speaking about this in the uh, exclusive uh, confidential report. See, here it says Dubai and Abu Dhabi tackled the coronavirus in very different ways. Dubai is trying to open up the economy and say, oh, we are testing, but relax, don't worry. You remember the NAS video? And Abu Dhabi is like totally quarantined, total lock, shut down, don't come out. So it is clearly showing the difference in leadership, difference in styles. And I think Dubai and Abu Dhabi is not only breaking up, they're going to be two separate uh, cities by itself. And I'll speak more about it in the confidential report, which is coming up next. Following that, you have Sudan uh, demands an apology, UAE apology over the Haftar recruitment. It seems UAE has been uh, appointing a lot of these Sudanese people to fight its wars. And um, there seem to be a strong tension between Africa and UAE. Yeah, you can keep reading about it. Just Google search and you'll find out there's plenty of uh, tension between UAE and African countries. Then um, this video, I'll share the link. This one has English subtitles. Dubai, the investment illusion. It gives you shocking and damning reports of how uh, anybody who invests uh, in UAE how they lose money. Uh, I think they focus on Tamil and uh, they focus on B.R. Shetty. So have a look at it. It's a one hour long documentary, well thought of. So much evidence is there. I watched, uh, I've been watching little by little by little. And after I finish watching the whole thing, I'll give you my views. It seems an English version of this is coming out. But for those of you who would like to see this one in Arabic subtitles, watch it. It is unbelievably good. They've done a really good job. And uh, I got this sent to me J July 15th. UAE residents warned against spreading rumors uh, and jail can be uh, one year in UAE if you spare false information. This news has been going on for years and years. It has been like every three months it comes out. So there's nothing new that it's only going to be now. It has not been enforced now. It has been enforced since the past, I think, 10, 12 years or so. And every three, four months, this kind of news comes out. So I normally tell people is do not share anything on a public profile on Twitter. Do not share anything on Facebook. Do not share anything uh, in public groups. And if you're doing it in private, just make sure that the group of people who you are sharing with, you trust. However, you know, the thumb rule is when in doubt, leave it out. So don't risk Last but not the least, this video was shared to me by so many people. Nas praising uh, Dubai and saying, oh, you know, it's so amazing. And he's giving all these actions. And his wife is, oh, it's so great. I've given my thoughts in another video. But I can tell you clearly, this is a paid sponsored ad, which all of you know, it's so fake. Um, you can literally feel it. I wish, you know, to summarize, I wish he had said that this is a sponsored ad. I think people would have respected him more. There's nothing wrong in UAE promoting itself. But... Trying to show that, oh, you know, especially Nas, a guy like Nas, who is such a powerful influencer, not stating that it's a sponsored ad makes him lose credibility. So this is what I felt. I'll be giving a detailed video uh, later on about this. Okay, um, now coming to what expatriates have sent me. Um, this particular gentleman, it seems he went from Dubai to Abu Dhabi. And um, he shared with me these photographs and videos and he said that you have to wait in this tent. And he was literally waiting there for three to four hours. Um, and he said, they've started medical testing for people who want to go from Dubai to Abu Dhabi, medical tests for 50 dirhams. I said, wow, that's that's good. But then he said, uh, uh, you know, uh, as per this arrangement, hundreds of people are waiting. And it has been three to four hours. 
if you want, you can share on your page. So he gave different kinds of images. I, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this. You have people who really want to go about their job, their business. But then if you have to wait three to four hours just for a test, even if 50 dirhams, is it worth waiting for so long? In fact, sitting like this itself, you can get the virus. So I, I feel this itself is very harmful. Um, you know, personally speaking, I would say if somebody has to, uh, if the person is a businessman, this is a total loss. I'll play the video so you can have a look and check what is happening with regards to testing. Let me know your views. Have you experienced this? Is it 50 grams only? And here's one more thing. If UAE tests are so accurate, why is it that people who are leaving UAE and going to India, Pakistan or Sri Lanka, when they are getting tested again, they are finding that they actually have the virus and uh, they are not well. They are actually sick. Uh, case in point, what happened in Kerala. Okay. Another um, follower of mine sent me these videos of a fire that took place. It's nothing serious. Have a look at the videos. I'll play it now. Okay, check it out. This is the fire that is in place. It seems the fire was under control, but you would see traffic being diverted and you'd see a big crowd. I'll just play the videos. Have a look at it. And if you have any information with regards to this, let me know what actually happened here. Okay. ആൾക്കാരുണ്ടോ മക്കളെ മേളിതോറി പോയി പോകാം അവരെ ഇങ്ങനെ പറഞ്ഞു വയ്ക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ഈ പോവ കൂടുക അല്ലല്ല പാവങ്ങൾ വല്ല ആകത്തുണ്ടോ എന്ത് are you fed up of life earning a pathetic salary working long hours having an ungrateful boss facing office politics, the constant fear of losing your job, and after paying rent, groceries, shopping, and children's expenses, you were left with hardly any savings. Is this the life you dreamed of? Or do you wish to change your life forever? Meet Loy Macedo, the world's number one personal branding coach. He will help you identify the real you. Position and sell yourself by getting the job of your dreams and make good money anywhere in the world. If you do not believe me, Google his name, Loy Macedo, and you will find 2 million web links online and over 200 recommendations from very happy clients. So the question is, do you want to change your life? If yes, then contact Loy Macedo. www.loymacedo.com Whoisloymacedo.com ThinkPersonalBranding.com What are you waiting for? Do it now.